Now, use the pliers on the fence to make a hole. The funny thing is, we can only... we need to go prone through it. We can't crawl through it. Now, to neutralize the sentry in the watchtower. Neutralize it how? Ooh, wait a second. Uh, hmm. Ah, no, I don't think, uh... No, uh, a quick save doesn't work in the training mission. It makes its own auto-saves in the training mission. Now... Ooh, stunning! To stun an enemy, you need to approach the enemy from behind and activate the stun option of the a actions menu. Stunning is a noisy operation. It's non-lethal, but it is noisy, and nearby guards will hear you if they are not behind a... Uh... That always happens. I... Uh, I always have a difficult time being quiet and climbing up ladders. Oh, We made it, somehow! So yes, walls and doors can uh, neutralize sound. So do it when you when you're alone. Well, you and the guard. Now, what you do is just take his body and throw it down there. Mission failed. The Soviet national has been killed. That's the first thing I that's the first thing I did at that point, really. Anyway, the mission has been accomplished. Sentry. Let me go back down here, get back to the exit, and neutralize the patrolling guard. Alrighty. Okay. Now, the, n the last guard will move. Well, when we get there. So, we need to be... You know, that's the... F that's the fastest, uh... prone crawling I have ever seen. I've never seen anyone crawl that fast. Seriously. Ugh. Anyway. What I want to do is crouch run here. Patrol. Move crouching in a running mode to quickly reduce the distance and have time to neutralize the enemy. That's right. Ooh. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Very fast. Yep, you need to get them before they turn around, of course. <laughs> What's next on the agenda? Ah, getting changed. Yes, we need we need to learn how to get changed. Hmm. Whew. This part is probably it's not so difficult. <laughs> uh nah, the first time I passed this part without getting a uh, mission failed. Uh, or did I? I can't quite remember. Anyway, <laughs> I've uh, been trying to keep the strategies for the mission in my head. Anyway, take items from the table. Chloroform, the smoke pot, and the pick locks. Enemies vision. The map marks all enemies' fields of vision that may be dangerous for the player. The fields of vision are divided into two areas. In the grey zone, the enemy will not notice you at once. The, ja the danger scale will be warning you. In the coloured area, the enemy will instantly see you. Depending on your movement mode, speed, and enemy alertness level, their fields of vision may change. Oh yes, they, s they see you less uh, the lower you are, of course. So, the first thing we do is get to the tent without much noise. Now, there's a guard there. Hmm. We 
can get past him. Yeah, don't move too much, otherwise their vision gets bigger. So we'll slowly crawl. Yep, very good. When an enemy is looking in your direction, the danger scale indicates its visibility, your visibility. If an enemy sees anything suspicious, he can become alerted. And we don't want that. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're out of his vision. Very good. Be careful about, um... Uh, uh, knocking items around. Guards will hear! Sometimes. Uh, so, the backpack. You can carry mines, dynamites, and other items in your backpack. You can drop your backpack in the inventory mode. To do so, you should move the backpack icon, icon beyond the inventory screen. Oh yes. So, welcome to the inventory screen. Very small. The smallest inventory window I have ever seen in my life. This is a Soviet backpack. We will drop it because we have nothing in it. And, enemy. well, uh, guards will grow suspicious of us if we do not wear, um, well, if we are wearing a different faction's backpack. But for now, we shall take this fork, and this spoon, and this plate, and this spoon, and this mug. Ah. <laughs> I'm sure you can guess what we are going to do with those. The colour of the internal area in an enemy's field of vision indicates enemy's alertness level. Green, calm condition. Yellow, attention. Red, alertness. If an enemy sees anything suspicious, he can become alerted, of course. Or if he sees anything alerting, he can become suspicious. Hmm. Reach the bunker and avoid being noticed by patrols. Ooh. Bunker is quite a ways off. Over in that direction. <laughs> okay, we're just going to wait for him to pass. Yep. I prefer to be, uh, well, I prefer to avoid as much uh, of the guards as I can. Okay, we're doing well. <laughs> hmm. Strange having that little thing here. Okay, let's get up. Good. <laughs> okay, good. He's walking in the opposite direction. This is all very good. Now, here's the bunker. You have reached the bunker. To get inside, uh, you need to get inside. The guard is at the doors. You can try to distract the card guard's attention by whistling with tea, or you can distract a guard by throwing a smoke barrel. You mean smoke pot. I prefer using the smoke pot since it doesn't attract the guard to your position. So we press 5 for throwables. Careful now. We aim, and somewhere in the guard's sight, he'll see it and run over, which is our cue to get in and hide. Yeah, not, don't worry about closing the door. It will close itself soon. And uh, d don't worry about equipping the fork. I said don't worry about equipping the fork. That's very good. Now, we'll sneak into the radio operator's room. Oh, yes. <laughs> hmm. 
Some doors may be locked. To force a door, you need pick locks. In the forcing mode, use the up and down keys or scroll the mouse wheel to change the lockpick's shape. In the forcing mode, use the right key or the left mouse button to bring the lockpick to the keyhole. Yep. This uh, game's lockpicking is different than everything else.